Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about what I learned on my summer vacation. Are you ready? Let's get started. Good news, this is not the back to school essay about what I learned on my summer vacation, and better news, I'm not gonna share a bunch of photos with you. Uh, what I am gonna talk to you though is about what I learned on my summer vacation. And first, let's talk about how I vacation. Here's how I vacation. Uh, I go to our farm in Michigan for a couple of weeks every summer. I spend a couple of days working before the vacation begins. And while I'm there, we have a big party it's a long story. This year, we also had a family reunion. I'll talk about that next week. But most of all, during this vacation, I have a lot of activity. There's a lot of stuff going on. So how do I relax? Well, I relax in lots of ways, but as I've just hinted, activity is one of those ways. By me getting more active and doing things, not necessarily going on a hike, but being active, being outside, those are some of the ways that I relax. It's one of the ways that's different from my normal everyday work. So what are my observations? What did I learn in my, on my summer vacation? First of all, mine will be different than yours. In other words, what my vacation or my ideal vacation or how I want a summer vacation is probably different than what you want. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just is what it is. And so the question then is, who's right? Is my way better? No. Is your way better? Not necessarily. What's important are the lessons that I learned this year. First, find yours. Find your way to have the best vacation for you. What are the things that make help you relax, to help you recharge and rejuvenate? Figure out what those things are for you. And second, don't project on others. There are other people that are on my around me during my vacation who have a different view and a different look at what summer vacation looks like for them. It's okay. It doesn't matter who's right. It matters that we figure out what we need and if we're vacationing with others that we make sure they get some of what they need too. So those are some of my lessons, sort of high level lessons from my summer vacation. I know that this episode has been a little more about thinking than action. I haven't given you a lot of specific things to take action on. My challenge to you is to think about what you learn on your summer vacation and maybe leave you with this final thought in the tweet. Determine what vacation means to you and create more of them. They will refresh and revive you. Summer vacation or not, every Tuesday through Friday, I create what we call the daily email. It's sent to people who want to hear from me about what I'm learning and how you can be inspired each day, Tuesday through Friday, by joining us for the daily email. I hope you'll do that. All the information for that is here. And speaking of regular activities, every week, right here, another episode of Remarkable TV. Next week, I'll talk about my family reunion. See you then.